I must have been totally out of my mind when I said I would look at what's coming up. No. Sorry. I have to draw the line somewhere. And this is that line. This is an old, older, I guess. It's a, I think it's a Brevel. Um, this is a, an oven. That uh, was brought in for me to take a look at. Apparently, the convection fan is not working properly. Probably blow the breaker here. You can hear the fan running. Apparently, the fan motor is laboring, it's speeding up and slowing down. So, uh, I've been asked to take a look at this thing. Just before it gets replaced, I'm just kind of doing this as a favor and uh, see whether we can make this thing work any better. Otherwise, it's going to get tossed out and replaced. So this is the unit here. It's a Breville uh, Convection Smart Oven. And I have no idea how old this thing is. I don't even know how to take it apart. i just kind of taken out all the screws and hopefully something will, will pop apart on here. Got to try to get the side cover off of it here somehow. Because the the fan is on, the fan motor is on the top cover here. I hate working on anything that has anything to do with cooking. I used to have to deal with microwave ovens back in the day for restaurants and stuff. And it just, they were always disgusting. I think any type of oven is disgusting. I would not want to be an appliance repair guy. They must have to deal with some really gross stuff. Whenever you're dealing with any cooking appliances, the problem is grease, right? It's, they're always full of grease. And, you know, you get inside these things and there's places that you can't clean the grease out of. Ah, boy. I think the base, the feet probably have to come off of it, too. I don't know why I let myself get talked into working on stuff like this. This has got to come out. I think this couple of screws have to come out from uh, in here. That one's loose. Okay, that comes off. All right, now what's next? Oh, there's two more screws down here. I just want to kind of get into where the motor is. And I can see it's on this side. It hasn't seized up, but it's getting to the point where it's slowing down. Of course, this is going to be sharp as a knife. Ah, cut my fingers on this. I'm not careful. There's the fan motor right there. So all I gotta do is just get this top to, I don't know how to do this. Ridiculous. Well, it looks like there's yet one more screw, which is right here that attaches this corner. And now this thing should, it's gonna lift out, or is there another screw in there holding it further up? Let's see, I guess it slides back now. You would think. What the hell? There's more screws? How did they put this thing together? I'm guessing the back has to come off. But how?
Ridiculous. I can see the motor right down here. I can see the fan. The fan is right there. There's uh, two more screws that hold this thing together. Good thing I've got a long screwdriver and I can probably reach them from the back. Putting them back in might be the fun part. Okay, there's one. Kind of like magnetic screwdrivers. And the other one is up front here, and then this should let me, when I get this one undone, I should be able to lift enough of this cover off that I can access the motor. Okay, now I can get to the motor, sort of. This is the motor here. That noise you hear is actually the uh, the part inside the oven, the fan blade inside. It does not seem like it's stiff either. Interesting. I wonder if I can turn this thing on with it apart and not not blow the uh, circuit. At least it's never been undone. I guess it was plugged in pretty close to where it was. Uh, where it was parked. Is it in convection mode or not? Oh, hang on, put it in convection. There, it's in convection mode now, I think. complaint is it slows down when it's been running for a while the fact that this thing's cutting up my hand for one but the fact that there's no resistance on this fan at all it's binding inside but I don't think there's anything I can do to it here I'm just gonna put this thing back together it's got to be the bearing for when it's sitting upright the weight of the fan itself is actually slowing it down because it turns freely now it's working it's just it's uh, apparently slowing down so maybe it'll just get run until it stops it's a pretty old unit it's held in place by uh, the, the fan blades held in place by a small allen key but i don't have a wrench that's long enough to reach it so i can't take the fan off anyway so I think best at this point, I'm just going to throw this thing together. And they can continue to use it until it, it craps right out. I wasn't thrilled to look at this to begin with. And for what they cost, this is not a very expensive unit. I mean, they're, they're a couple hundred bucks, these things, right? But it still works. It's just the... It's just the uh, convection fan, is, the complaint is the convection fan is slowing down. The unit itself still works, so I think maybe the best solution on this is to just uh, leave it, let it run until it drops, and then get it replaced. A word of warning before anybody works on any of these things, this metal is sharp like a razor. They, It's all been cut by machines and put together by machines and they did not uh, smooth off any of the surfaces so anything you touch you're probably going to cut yourself as I say this unit is going back together and it's going back to the owner and they can just run it until it drops which is what small appliances are designed to be done right? I mean, they're not really designed to fix these things
Now these are great ovens. I, I will admit that these are a very good unit. I have one that's very similar to this and it gets used like every day. My wife actually wants the new one that's got the built-in air fryer because they've got a new model out to replace this one that has this one's a convection there's a new one out that's got the air fryer built in I was telling the wife what she need another air fryer for she already got one we've got a instant pot duo which is the the combination like air fryer lid and a pressure cooker and that appliance also gets a lot of use but now they got a new version of this oven out that not only has the the convection but it also has air frying that's probably what will happen with this one I'll tell the owner of this one just to run it until it drops and then go buy a new one anyway I'm just going to throw the screws back in. I'll give it a quick test to make sure it's working and then we'll conclude this video. And by the way, when you put it together, it fits on the outside here and then this lip over top. If you don't get it right, you're going to have to take all the screws out in the side again to, uh, to get it to seat properly. That is a sliver I just got. I just got a metal, metal sliver from this thing. Wonderful. Well, this is the inside of the unit, and uh, it's pretty dirty in there. I mean, this thing's a lot of use to it. The convection fan is over on the right side, and of course, when I turn it on, where is it? That's not the convection. That is just uh, where's convection on this thing? I think I'll probably just tell them not to use the convection. The buttons aren't working properly either. It's the convection, there it is, now it's on convection. Okay, when I turn this thing on, the fan should start rotating on the right side. There we go, it's on convection. The fan is not rotating. There it goes. Obviously, the uh, when it was turned on its side, when it was turned on its side, um, the bearing was free. But now the weight is sitting on the bearing from the, the weight of the fan, and it's not spinning. So the bearing itself is shot. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to let the person that knows this one uh, that owns this one know that uh, you know they're just going to have to use it as turn off the convection, turn off the convection cooking on it, and just use it as a conventional. That's a conventional oven. Turn off the convection for everything here. And uh, they can use it as a as a conventional oven. The amount of work to, to require to take that thing apart, I mean just to get into the side cover was a lot of work, but to get the to actually get into here to take this this, this motor out, this whole side would have to be taken apart and the heating elements, which are quartz, there's three of them on the top and two of them on the bottom. Uh, the heat, here, these are the quartz heating elements down here. They would all have to be removed to, uh, to get into the sink to change it. And it's gross, it's, it's like uh, no thanks. So there you go, there's a, con there's a convection oven. Um, when they get old like this, maybe it's better just to buy a new one when the convection motor is uh, shot. As I say, this thing's had a lot of use. Glass is dirty because it's had so much. But this thing literally has, this thing has had, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours put on the thing. It's, it's, it's used pretty much constantly every day, seven days a week. So I'm not surprised that uh, it's burned out. Anyway, thanks for watching.